idempotent matrix if a square is equal to a consider a equal to 2 minus 2 minus 4 minus 1 3 4 1 minus 2 minus 3 we find that a square that is the product of a and a that is 2 minus 2 4 Minus one three four one minus two three. That is the first. The second is the repeat of this. Two minus two minus four minus one three four one minus two minus three. And we find the product. We find the product is also equal to two minus two minus four minus one three four. One minus two minus three, which is also equal to a. Therefore, a square equal to a shows that a is an idempotent matrix. Another definition that is in voluntary matrix, a square matrix a is said to be. In voluntary matrix, if a square is equal to identity matrix, consider the example a equal to minus five, minus eight, three, and five. A square is equal to minus five, minus eight, three, five into a again. That is minus five. Minus eight three five. The product becomes twenty five minus twenty four. First term. Second forty minus forty. That is the first row. In the second row we get minus fifteen fifteen. And the last term will become minus twenty four plus twenty five, which is one zero zero one, which is identity matrix. Therefore, a square is equal to identity matrix. Hence, a is involuntary matrix. Another concept is nilpotent matrix. A square matrix A equal to a i j n into n is said to be nilpotent matrix if there exists a positive integer m so that a is to power m. That is a into a into a m times gives you us a zero matrix. In this case, m is called the index of the nilpotent matrix A. Consider the example A equal to six nine minus four minus six. We find a square equal to a into a, that is six nine minus four minus six into six nine plus four minus four minus six. We find the product as thirty six minus thirty six, then minus fifty four plus fifty four, and second row minus twenty four plus twenty four. And the last element minus thirty six plus thirty six, which shows zero 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 zero, which shows it is zero matrix. Hence, a square is equal to a zero matrix. Therefore, a is a nearly potent matrix of index two because a is equal to is equal to zero matrix. Now we talk of a conjugate of a matrix. This happens when the elements of a matrix A are complex numbers. So, if the elements of a matrix A are complex numbers, then the conjugate matrix of A, denoted as A bar, is obtained by replacing its elements by their corresponding conjugate numbers. 
That is, if A is equal to Aij and J, where Aij belongs to complex set, then A bar is equal to Aij bar and J. Which in other words means A bar Ij is equal to, that is the Ijth element of A bar is equal to Aij bar or Aij bar, that is the conjugate of the Ijth element of A. Then we talk